going to use the rope to find the halfway mark. That's where I'm going to shoot my arrows from. where my handle is going to be. That's what I got. My midpoint, where my arrow is going to shoot off of. My handle, where I'm going to start my carving, here and here, to my belly. And the bottom. Now it's just about reduction. Now I need to be careful about making sure that this doesn't get screwy gets corkscrewed warped very easy when you're carving you end up carving at an angle and then your bow isn't symmetrical proper So I've really paid attention to the angle, making sure that this angle is the same all the way down on the bow, all the way to the other side. You know, I try to get it close, but now I'm still doing a lot of reducing but now that I've reduced a good chunk I'm gonna start working on narrowing so I can start working on setting up the knocks because it's already starting to flex so I need to put a string on it soon so I can start tweaking it properly so I usually start tapering about 
one third of the way left. So I have one third of the way left. I start tapering there on the sides. Still got a long way to go. Still a thick piece of wood. Just leave a grip. Really makes bowl making easy. I think I just dropped that curl into my cup of tea. <laughs> uh, at least it's edible, it's maple. Yeah, I sure did. Don't mind if I do. stuff. Not much better than this. A little bow making, get some tea, some snow on the ground, hanging out with my brother-in-law. Can't beat it. Absolutely awesome. He's laying down right now. He's in bed, he's exhausted. And it's late. And I'm always I'm always up late. So that's how it goes. Starting to get some flex in the limbs. 